One of the challenges you face as a new thrower or coach is translating what you see in video into the ring. Here in this video, we're going to talk about two big common mistakes that throwers think they're seeing, but they're not. So here we go. Check it out. Everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's YouTube video, what we're going to discuss are two big mistakes often made by beginning discus throwers that are simple, easy to avoid, and that you can change quickly. The common mistake, one of the things that I see uh, quite a bit, are too much motion is the first thing, and the second thing is getting too deep in the discus. In the shot, I think it's better. You can get a little lower. So one of the things that we find that young discus throwers tend to do is they tend to get too squatty. And so what that means is they're trying to come around and they're trying to come around super deep. And remember, one of the key things that we want to see with discus throwers, discus throwers will have some flex in the leg. And so when you see them wind and they hit their pillar one and they're coming to pillar two, they're tall. Because they're taller, they can drop in on pillar three. You see the, the drop in and apply speed. Now, if you're already low, it you can't really feel that little slight up down action that you get in the rotational throws. And if you do that, that's going to affect the orbit high point of the implement. It's going to have an impact on your ability to create speed because you're just kind of rotating around and stepping. So a real simple fix for a lot of you young throwers is to stop sitting. And if I'm throwing in this direction is to stop mm. sitting like this and then winding and then and then turning around super low. Now there's some could argue that being in that low position is going to really help how to maintain balance and different things, but it's also not going to be really helping you the athlete to understand the motion of that pillar 2 and that pillar 3 motion to move out around. If you haven't looked at it, check out our Holy Grail video where we talk about how to get around the left. And when you are too deep in the position here, it's it's harder for most throwers to actually move around the entry side axis. So that's going to be your first tip and the simple way to avoid that is to get out of this deep, deep drop and bring the athlete up so that you can see the hips dropping. You'll see the knees in front and so we're going to be able to see that longer, wider action. So again, it looks like this when we're here, we're going to see this and we're going to be able to see that longer, wider kind of sweeping motion because we can move from pillar two to three and drop in. But and when you see the athlete, they're coming here and they're too far around. It makes that rotational path much more challenging. They're going to tend to be coming around and they're going to get the back in. And that's going to bring us to the second drill. One of the things that we want to see is when we're talking about one of the common mistakes is what once we get here, then we get too rotational and to watch the knee roll. Now, we posted up a video quite some time ago about sweep and the path of the, of the sweep leg in the throw of either the rotational throw, the discus or the shot. So one of the things we want to do is if we're staying down lower, it's also easier, or when you squat too low, it's really common to get this type of motion. So the knees moving around and the foot is facing down. This is a really big killer because what it does is it makes the athlete too rotational and then they tend to back in. That's going to make the foot kind of drop down into the throw. So how do we increase that wide sweep? Here's how we're going to do it. So once we, we create everything a little taller, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to be thinking about leading with the more of the inside of the knee. Now, some people say lead with the inside of the thigh. I tend not to coach that motion because I think that tends to lead to this type of a sweep motion. My tip is to lead with the knee and get your toe up. So if we look at a lot of throwers, you're going to see that that foot, once they come out, that big wide sweep, you're going to see more of this and then you're going to see that toe kind of come in slightly up as they come around into the middle. And one of the other mistakes that occurs when beginning throwers are dropping too low is the narrow sweep. Discus throwers specifically, when we're a little taller and we're staying wider, okay, so when the knees are apart and we stay tall and we shift from pillar one to two, when we're taller and we're moving our center of mass over and in, in prepping to drop into our pillar three, what we're going to be seeing is that if we're already low, it's very difficult when we're low 
to get a wide sweep, right? So you can see that if I'm in this position and I stay real low, mm. to really get a wide sweep is gonna feel very unnatural and extremely difficult to do. That's why you don't see it done with any elite level thrower. There are one or two guys that were a touch lower. Vast majority of elite world-class throwers for the last several decades are all start with a slightly taller position and come around. So one of the things we wanna, again, suggest for our young throwers is one in the previous where we talked about stop squatting so low, because number two, then we're gonna start, we're assuming we fix that, and what we're gonna be talking about is that when we're coming around and we're staying taller, we wanna think a couple of paths. Some people talk about leading with the inside of the thigh. Some people try to have people reach out here. That's not the sweep leg action. If you look at the best throwers in the world, let's look at Malachowski, let's look at Harding, let's look at Dockers, let's look at Guzdias. Even Guzdias who has a narrower sweep, you're going to see that's different. They don't have an extending reaching sweep leg. Now one of the other simple fixes for helping that knee roll over and creating a wider sweep is to be conscious of keeping the shoulders more level and that by default starts to help counterbalance this. When the shoulders are tilting, you know, you're going to see more of this type of stuff. Keep your shoulders level, think inside of the knee and toe up, and that's going to help lead into that longer, wider sweeping motion. So, hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button, throw any comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe. Visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the Throwing Chain Reaction System. Thanks so much for watching.